Welcome, welcome back everybody to the Search Show 24-7. This is episode 16 of Young Justice Invasions entitled Complications. So, let's get right into it. All right, guys, before I get into the review, I have a quick little shout out I need to do. I want to thank um, Stasia Chavera. Um, she's, uh, she watches my show. She's a friend of mine on Facebook. She's a really uh, nice uh, person. She helped me out. She, she sent me the link to Young Justice Invasions for this episode because I was at work, so I didn't get the chance to watch it on time. So um, she sent me the link to it because... She wanted to see the reviews and everybody wanted to see the reviews and I didn't know if I was going to be able to do a review today because it wasn't on YouTube at the time. So um, really do appreciate Stasia. Um, if you ever need anything, let me know, okay? If I'm ever in, you know, I think you live in California. If I'm ever in California, hey, Butterfingers and Hot Pockets on me. Butterfingers and Hot Pockets, you know. Hey, it's from the heart, all right? So I appreciate it. All right. Now let's get to the review. Complications. Uh, this was a very very jam-packed, action-packed, uh, you know, edge of your seat, you know, very story-driven, very awesome-tacular. Yes, I use a Jeremy John reference. Um, it was just a good episode, overall episode. Everything about it was just phenomenal for me. And it, it just goes back to the fact where I said last week, like, man, we're almost at the end of this season. It, it sucks, man. You know, it really does suck. But, you know, hey, I'm still keeping my head up. I'm still getting that season three. You know, I'm still, hey, it's going to happen. It's got to happen. But um, overall, I thought this episode was very good. Um, The story revolves around, you know, uh, Calder, um, Miss Martian, and Artemis. You know, they're, 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 they, they, came, they basically came up with this plan because now that Calder is, uh, he's fixed. He, he's, um, he's got his memories back and stuff. They have to keep it on the, on the down low, on the DL, because they don't want everybody else to know because, um, of the whole secret and the whole, you know, if they find out, then they'll know that Artemis, uh, was in on the plan and then they might kill Artemis and stuff like that. So they have to keep it on the down low for right now because they still need to figure out how they're going to get Miss Martian out of there safe. You know what I mean? They still need to figure it out. So, you know, they're, they, uh, Calder, he's still playing uh, dumb or uh, dead or whatever or brain dead. So he's still playing brain dead, which is a good move by them. And it's very smart that they had to, that they played that up because um, they, you see that he forgave uh, Miss Martian and he's willing to help, you know, his friend and that's a good quality that i always liked about calder you know he didn't um brush her to the side and say yo you had me in this situation in the first place so forget you i'm gone or whatever you know he he he's willing to help her help her out and try to figure out a plan to keep her safe so i really did enjoy that and um now what gets really complicated in this episode is when they're trying to figure out a plan to you know ex uh help miss martian escape Guess who comes and joins the party? Uh, Artemis's sister and her father, you know, um, Sportsmaster and Cheshire. They come in on Black Manta's ship and they they they're looking for they're looking for some some answers. You know, they're looking for some answers. They're looking for Calder. They're looking for uh, Black Manta and they're they're looking to uh, get their revenge on Artemis. Because don't forget, they they still think that Artemis is dead, which makes for a great story. You know, they still think that. That um Calder killed Artemis, so they they're entitled to their revenge. But what gets even more complicated is that you know now now that they are trying to get the their revenge and and you know it's crazy. Can you explain? Like they're trying to get revenge. Uh, uh the other side is trying to help their friends escape. Then. Black Manta can't fight to save his his own ass. I mean, he got his ass whooped by Sports Master. I'm sorry, but was it just me or you was like, God damn, you getting your ass handed to you right now? Like he he was getting his ass handed to him. I'm sorry that I'm cussing. I am, but I I just felt like I don't know I don't know why I thought you know Black Manta was gonna have it because I was like, oh here you go, here you go, Sports Master versus Black Manta. All right, Black Manta's gonna put that one two on. God, God damn! Ooh, ouch! Ooh, Black Manta's on the floor right now. Ooh, uh, yeah, Sports Master is kicking his ass. Uh, 
So, I mean, I was just taken back by that because I thought Black Manta had some moves, but he ain't got no moves, man. He too old. He 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 ain't shucking and jiving like he like he's supposed to. So uh, I don't know what was going on with that, but uh, he, he he was getting his his hand, uh, his butt handed to him. And uh, Artemis was doing her. I mean, not Artemis, but Cheshire was doing her thing. What I see in this the whole like Artemis, you know, Cheshire, and you know, Black Manta. I mean, not Black Manta, but um, Sportsmaster and their family. When they when they set out to do something, they gonna do it right. When it comes to revenge and stuff, you don't wanna mess with that family because they are dangerous. Like Artem uh Artemis she's already dangerous. Cheshire, she she was dangerous before, but season two, she's kicking all kinds of butt. And she she's got a kid too. She got a kid and she kicking butt sports master. He's a deadbeat dad. So you just want him to get beat up. But he, he always comes out on top, which is like, what is with this family, man? That, that's just awesome. And you root for him. But, man, it, it was just really good to, to just watch that whole thing play play up, you know, because um it was just, just a lot of action packed and you was on the edge of your seat. And Deathstroke, he had his uh, moment too, but. He was getting look. His, he was getting his butt handed to him too by Sportsmaster. So I don't know what it is, man. I don't know if they just trying to play up that Sportsmaster is. He was trained by Batman or somebody. I don't know, but he was putting the hand on Black Manta and you know um, Deathstroke. So ah, I mean, anyway, but uh, uh, the side show was pretty. Um, wasn't really important. Well, it was important, but. They didn't play it up that much because the bigger story was the Artemis, the Calder, and Miss Martian story. But the side story with um, Nightwing and him trying to figure out, like, yo, where is my team at? I went to go get some coffee. I come back. They all gone. You know, what happened? And the only person who's really there is Blue Beetle. And Blue Beetle's like, yo, it went crazy. They got captured. I tried to stop it. But, hey, I, I, can't, I couldn't do nothing about it, you know. And you, you see Blue Beetle, he's playing up the fact that uh, he knows it happened because he did it. But he's playing stupid and he's um, making Nightwing think that, oh, man, you know, it's cool. Don't worry about it. You know, we all going through a lot. So you take your rest. So, you know, Nightwing still doesn't know that Blue Beetle's, you know, he, he went to the dark side. You know, he went to the dark side. So I, I like the fact that uh, it gives him more mystery and just more mystique of how is it going to play out? Like, where, where, where is Arsenal? You know, where is he at during this whole episode? I was hoping that he was going to come around the corner. Like, yo, I seen it all. That blue kid, he's full of crap. All right, he's full of crap. He, he did it. So, I, where was he at? You know, but um, um, but what you figure out about Nightwing is he still got that Batman mentality. He's looking at it like, okay. Now my whole team is a uh, elite team. You know they they basically the A team now that the Justice League are gone, and they all get taken out like that, and except for Blue Beetle. So you know Nightwing, he's kind of doing his uh his little Batman detective thing, and he's really checking out and scoping out the place, which I really do enjoy. That Nightwing really became serious this episode. He was like, okay, now a lot of crap has happened, and I'm I'm sick and tired of it. he's that's basically how he feels now he's like a lot of crap has happened over this past like year of this invasion and I'm sick and tired of it I want some answers so he's trying to discover stuff and he's taking it into his own hands and um he I think now he understands like something went something went on and I think Blue Beetle is a part of it so hopefully next episode you see that Nightwing kind of questions Blue Beetle to get answers because he's missing his team and something needs to give and like I said hopefully that's when Arsenal comes back and helps Nightwing helps Nightwing you know get his team back because they really do need that um, overall phenomenal episode I really did enjoy it um, the only thing I, I didn't like about it was Artemis they, they keep doing this thing with Artemis where when she talks where she thinks about something, she has to say it out loud. It's, it's weird. I don't know if people catch this because she did it like a couple episodes back too when she was like um, just down and, and stuff. She does something like she looks at the mirror or she just looks at something and says, oh man, life sucks. 
oh yeah, it really does. I can't believe it. Some just weird stuff. I don't understand why they do that. They said, ah, oh, we're in, I'm in for deep. Yeah, really deep. So just I don't like when they do stuff like that. That extra monologue in her head. I don't know why. It just seems cheesy to me. So oh, but. That's just a little minor gripe. I just saw it and I recognized it. And I was like, why do they keep doing that with her? Why does every time she thinks of something bad or thinks something bad about her, she looks at a mirror and it shows the ori her original Artemis form and then she has to talk back to herself or something like that. We all know what you're thinking, so you don't have to, you know, you don't have to say it because we, we think of the same thing she does. So other than that, it's whatever. But what did you guys think? Did you guys enjoy this episode? It was really good. Um we only got a couple more episodes left, so we need to savor this, guys. We need to savor season two. We need to, you know, um, just take it all in. Um, don't take it for granted because um, it's getting really good. And, and and these last couple episodes are going to really, really be intense. I can see that now. Uh, what do you guys think is going to happen in the next episode? Please comment below. Let me know. And as always, guys, this is The Search Show 24-7. Be easy.